Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Beers for Build. In today's episode, it's titanium exhaust on the GTR. I went, I went above the budget and spent a bunch of money on full titanium exhaust for this car because with the turbos and everything else, the car should sound really, really good. So I figured to add on titanium exhaust, it'll sound that much better. Right, so it should be a lot of fun. We're gonna install the taillights, the rear bumper, uh, and then that little rear bumper lip thing that I'll show you later that helps us know where we need to place our exhaust tips. And then we're gonna do a full install on titanium exhaust and see how it sounds. Stay tuned. All right, well, we clearly got the car into the shop. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna be working on this back area here, trying to get everything really looking clean and more like a GTR. Uh, to do that, we're gonna need to do a little bit of cleanup on the headlights. They got a little overspray. It's not actually stuck to them. It's just a little dust. So we're gonna clean these up. And uh, a tab broke off of one of these, maybe, maybe two tabs um, when the accident happened on this taillight that goes over here. So we got some uh, plastic weld stuff and we're gonna weld those up really good. You wanna make sure that your housing doesn't have any holes in it for condensation to get into, but also it's good to have all your mounting tabs. Now that those taillights way over there are drying up, I'm under the car. And uh, I want to show you guys the replacement procedure for the damaged, or not damaged, but removed stud. So um, our turbo was missing a stud on the bottom left there. So I went down to the dealership and got a stud. And you can see the top here has a bit of a, uh, bit of a star pattern to it. And uh, they call these down at Harbor Freight uh, e, e socket. And uh, just go ahead and get it started. And then this is what the, the E socket wrench looks like on the inside there. Just get it on there and tighten her down. And then I also bought 10 nuts so we can go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna attach our down pipes. Gasketing in the middle too. So it's gonna go this gasket down pipe. I gave it a little bit of a try, but um, it, it, once I got it in there, I realized I wasn't gonna have enough access to um, put the, install the O2 sensors with it in there. I figured pull them back out, install the O2 sensors on the ground. Uh, this car is kind of strange. Different O2 sensors for different sides. Two different part numbers, one's for the right, one's for the left. I'll Google that real quick. We'll go ahead and pull, put our O2 sensors in here. I'm gonna slide it up then into the car and then plug the O2 sensor in and then I'll start setting the nuts on the back of the turbo to hold the uh, downpipes in. A little bit hard to see, but you can see that's one of our downpipes there on the driver's side, and then coming over here, we got it in the passenger side. And uh, yeah, there's some there's some nuts on there that are really, really hard to access, but we managed to make it all happen. So, um, the O2 sensors, it looks like they connect up to something up top. There's the, the rear O2 sensors look like they're right about here above where my hand is. I'm hoping that we're gonna find some for the ones up top. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed these through. Kyle's gonna grab them under the hood and we're gonna jump under the hood and uh, fish out those connections. All right, so anybody doing this at home, there's uh, some very short amount of slack on both sides and you just plug it. There's one in this bank right here and then one over there that you plug in. Moving on to the titanium parts of the exhaust. So the down pipes that I just installed and showed you guys, those are stainless. These are stainless too. I don't know why, but every kit that I look like, those are made out of stainless. It, there must be some reason to it. There probably are full titanium ones, but I'm not sure if, I, I couldn't find any. And then the rest of this stuff is all the titanium bits. So you got titanium tips, we got titanium mid pipe. This is like, I mean, this is so crazy how lightweight this stuff is. Stronger than stainless, I believe, and much, much, much lighter. I think it's even lighter than aluminum. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a steel expert as you guys learned on the 240Z. Anyway, so um, titanium, 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 all the good bits. The next thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is, uh, so these pieces connect up to our down pipes with uh, some, some more gaskets and uh, nuts and bolts right here. So I'm gonna install both of these two things. And then they're gonna slip over this part of uh, where the titanium starts and we're gonna be using these collars 
to cinch it down. I'm gonna jump under there right now and get all that done. Okay, we installed our second piece of our downpipe there and then that goes into the midpipe. Uh, you'll notice I didn't put the clamps on there yet. I want to keep everything fluid, able to move around a little bit as we go into installing these next pieces further back. So moving on to the back here, we need to go ahead and mount our bumper. That way we can mount our rear bumper lip and we can figure out where our exhaust needs to land. Uh, so to mount the bumper, we actually need to mount the taillights into the bumper. I got the tail lights in here. There's a, if anybody's doing this at home, four bolts on each one, on each corner basically. Now you're gonna wanna take these little uh, nuts off of these things that are gonna poke through to mount our tail lights into the body of the car. We're gonna pull all those off and then set this thing. Oh, wait, before we do that, on this side of the bumper that didn't get hit, you'll see this little bumper clip thing. Uh, coming over here, since we rebuilt this part, we need to install our bumper clip. So that goes right here. We'll install that piece and then take those nuts off the tail light and then we'll set this thing in and mount the bumper up for the first time. All right, starting to look like a GTR again. We got the back all together, so taillights in the bumper, bumper on the car, got these little corner light buggers in there. Those were a little bit difficult, but everything's fitting up really nicely and secure. And then what we did was we test fit this little bottom bumper lip. Now this is just mock fit on here because it's gotta come off to go into the paint booth. I bought this used on eBay. You can see there's some imperfections here. And on the other side, there's some black paint on there. I don't really know why. So that's gotta be cleaned up and we're gonna paint this all jet black. It's like a metallic gray right now. We're gonna make that all jet black. Uh, but we wanna have it on here right now so we can tell where to put the rear exhaust pieces as they come through. So to do the exhaust, we need to connect our mid pipe to that pipe right there. I think it's considered mid, no, that's our cat back. Basically going back through here and then we're gonna install our mufflers as well. The stock exhaust brackets are right here and right there. And if I had those, this would be a really easy job, but I don't and this is a budget build slash I'm cheap. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some exhaust hangers that we bought for the 240Z and we're gonna bolt them up and then we're gonna weld them to the other exhaust hangers for the titanium exhaust, landing them right exactly where we need to go. So first let's go ahead and get everything kind of test fit up, loosely fit from the cat back back to the mufflers and coming out here. Okay, remember all that other stuff we said we were gonna do? We didn't do that. I ran the, uh, the e-brake lines above the transmission. Um, those go above the transmission. And then we installed the uh, rear sway bar. That, that's important, we need to sway correctly. So now, uh, I forgot that there's some like, some shrouds that go in here uh, that house the exhaust tips. And uh, we didn't have those, so we pulled them off the Rec GTR there, somewhere over there. We're gonna go ahead and pull this piece back off of the car and install those shrouds onto here. They'll get painted along with this thing, uh, but I wanna get them in here before we go to test with the exhaust, making sure we land them in the right hole. Okay, we got our shrouds installed there. They rivet into the uh, rear lip thing, and then uh, that's all kind of temporarily back installed. So next uh, part is the cat back pipe right here. This goes towards the front, that goes towards the back. I'm gonna jump underneath and bolt it up.
That's the cat back installed, and now for the mufflers. It's looking like a GTR with titanium exhaust. Everything's just test fit in here right now. Uh, we went with the, the cat back pipe right there on the jack stand is what's holding everything up. And then we threw the mufflers in right now and then uh, just loosely slid the uh, tips on there. So everything looks great. The, uh, the mounting points off of the muffler. So the mufflers off of the mufflers, you got a rod that kind of looks like this and it's got a little flared end and it needs to go into an exhaust hanger. That's kind of like this. This is a universal like exhaust hanger setup that I bought for the Datsun. We just need to use this part right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slip this rod out. This is gonna go on the end of the titanium exhaust. This end's gonna bolt up to the car. We got kind of lucky, no fabrication really needed on this part. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt up this part and this part, and then we'll start to tighten stuff down. And uh, if we can get it all to match up and look great, then we just need to figure out one more exhaust mounting point back towards the middle. All right, the exhaust is hung. Let me show you what we did. So um, over here, here is the, the hanger and it comes off. And the OEM one has uh, some metal that goes from here to here and some rubber in between. Mine just has a, a big metal chunk that goes around the rubber and then comes off to right here and it bolted up. We got really lucky that the measurements all lined up and everything. We got one on this side and, uh, and one on that side. So I'm saying titanium exhaust weighs way less than half. So we're using less than half the bolts. Kind of kidding, a lot of you guys are like OEM till death, but uh, listen, this, I could hang on this exhaust right now and it'd be completely fine. It's a real good mounting and I'm really happy that it worked out. Now, uh, you guys like being upside down? This is pretty fun, right? Just kidding. Moving on to the back mid section, we got lucky as well. It's just, you know, the hanger kind of came out of here and we used the same process over here to bolt it onto there. So if you look way back there, we got some slip joints that need to go on. So there's one, two right there. And then there's gonna be uh, four for the exhaust tips. We're gonna go ahead and clamp all those babies down and it'll be time to start up the car and see how it sounds. We're all clamped down. Looks fantastic. This is our configuration. That one a little bit in more than that one is the look we're going for. Now, like you guys, I wanna hear how this thing sounds. So we're gonna start it up. We'll listen here with the cold start. Well, we're gonna add some fuel. Then we're gonna start it up, see what the cold start sounds like. And then I'm gonna give it some time to warm up and then I'm gonna wrap the hell out of it. Sounds good. All right, let's see if our gas gauge will work. We added some gas. We added about like four gallons or something. Focus. Hey, we're off of E. Okay, that's working. Let's see what the cold start sounds like. That sounded pretty good. It was not too loud, it had a good tone to it. I, I think that's gonna be great. And so now I'm gonna let it warm up and then we'll give it some RPMs. Probably doing what I wanted it to. 
Well, I'm more happy than you guys can probably imagine about just getting a couple fireballs. I think once it heated up, it's probably a little bit harder to get them. But with a proper two-step tune on this thing, it should be mad. I, I'm very excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is close to a wrap-up on the back, but we got a rear diffuser and we got a giant wing going on the back of that eventually. But um, first, we got to do wide body and some other stuff. In the next episode, we're going to wrap up the front end. We got a bunch of good stuff. Tune in for that. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate the hell out of all you guys. If you're working underneath the car, beanie is the proper attire, not a hat, because the bill of the hat gets in the way. So if you want to order a beanie, head over to beastforbuild.com, grab yourself up a beanie there, and, uh, and, and enjoy more headspace. I'm a great clothing salesman, I got to say. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you all. I'll see you on the next one. Please remember to subscribe. Peace!